Okay, now what I'm going to try to do is show you how to see this this stand right here with the bag next to it happens to be the intake, the blend air intake as they call it, or dilution air, fresh air adder, I don't care what you call it. And again, remember it's only three feet away from the exhaust of the furnace in that stack right there. So what I'm going to do is take the bag, sorry I'm doing this kind of one-handed, take, take a garbage bag, slip it over the the top of this one, like that. Bring it down, of course. And then, let me show you, at least from a distance, how that looks. See, there's the exhaust. Now it'll be the hot one. But this one here will always be cool. And so you take the bag and you Tighten it around the uh, pipe. Let me see if I can stick this down here so you can just watch. Just hoping you can see that from there. All right. Now, well, for prefer to have two bags over it. So the first bag will take the sun. It will decompose after a period of time. You can take some duct tape like this. Let's see if you can see that better. And it's not cooperating. Okay. Let's we'll see if we got it. And just run your duct tape around there. Bring it tight against that. Get, get a little bit down on there. And kind of secure the loose end. So the wind doesn't shred it. Go down get a little. that like that for now. You saw how I ran the tape around that several times so that the wind won't grab it. Now the fumes that come out of that chimney will be blocked by that bag for the for the time being. That's just a temporary fix so that it'll get you through a winter you might observe periodically, make sure that the, that bag is intact and not shredded. If you have strong winds, that tend, tend to uh, make it flap a little bit and you might have to replace it in, during the winter. But this is a temporary fix for right now. And as you can see, I've got the tester in there and right now we had Let's see. I don't know if, I, if you can read that. There are 20 parts per million coming out of that exhaust. And over a long period of time, if that's drafted back into the house, that can injure a fetus in utero, an infant that are most sensitive, and toddlers that are pretty much stuck inside the house through the, you know, every day and every night through the winter and any individual, elderly and even the adults. 
if they're subjected to a constant level of carbon monoxide contamination. And that would normally, you know, when the, when the snow gets deep, the snow comes up, it can cover off this uh, combustion air intake, and so that will make e the uh, combustion even dirtier. And then, of course, if it gets up high enough, then it, you know, will cover this. If it's real high snow, it'll cover this, and then it will tend to melt out. And since there's a draft to this pipe, you'll get air moving through a channel inside the snow, and it'll find its way directly into there because of the vacuum that's created when this pipe is normally open. Anyway, there you go. You can see how you can temporarily protect your family by taking a cup of kitchen-sized garbage bags liners and put them on that uh, breathing air or blend air intake. All right.